Press play if you want. Oh, sure, I'm eating. So. Yeah, I'm kind of like semi eating anyway. By that, I mean I'm eating with a semi. <laughs> I'm just going to do it for two. Story time with the boys is always a great laugh. And some of the stories they get told are super weird. That's why in this video, every story that gets told, there's an even weirder one after it. And you will not believe the last story. There's also a few extra clips scattered throughout for good measure. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Let's start off with a little story about a cute little puppy. Oh, what is... Buggy doing at my door. What, Buggy 298? Not that Buggy. What? My dog, he's like jumping up the door, I can hear him. If I had a dog, it would drive me insane. That thing would not last a week. <laughs> he's very cute, but honestly, sometimes the responsibility of it is <laughs> outweighed. Not he pissed on my sister's bag earlier. <laughs> yes, Buggy. <laughs> you were the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did frame that like you did it. <laughs> pissed on my sister's bag earlier. <laughs> I can make dead parents jokes because my dad's dead. L. We get an F in the chat for David's dad. Why bother? He's not going to see it. <laughs> I'm sorry, David. <laughs> Said the doctor. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Check on. He's crossing the road. What are you doing, you bastard? Why did you do it? He's fucking he he's hurting me. What the fuck? Well, yeah, you shot him. Yeah, I didn't think he'd, he'd attack me, though. What the fuck? Yeah, Zigzag's being chased around by a cock. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> so, business Again. as usual. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like how I get fucking all that warnings for one fucking story about masturbation. But I've seen literal boobies on TikTok. I've seen penises and vagina. Six egg when he come home from six. Wait, which trend is this? <laughs> <laughs> I like musicals. No, I don't actually. That's a lie. La La Land is like my shit. La La Land is really? incredible. I love La La Land. Nah, 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 nah. Great Greatest showman. showman. Every day, baby. No, La La Land trumps Greatest Showman. What? No, no. no. Incorrect. Greatest Showman's cringe. No, cringe. it's not cringe. Not your mouth. La La Land is a masterpiece. Yeah, but from now on. Oh, fuck no. no. It cringes me out, bro. No, Why? I'm with Zig on this. Greatest Showman. Top fuck that. Uh, no, Greatest no. Showman was mid. Mid. I also remember watching Greatest Showman with a girl that I got with for a week and then left because I realised she was the most horrifically stupid <laughs> person in the world. Went to a park and there was uh, like a seagull and she went, is that a penguin? <laughs> and I actually loved it. <laughs> I just broke up with her the next day. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, I didn't know penguins could fly. For this next clip, you're going to need some context. Me and a few friends went on a night out, and basically, we made a grave mistake. See, we went to Weatherspoons, and me being the idiot that I am, I asked my friends to send us some drinks. If you don't know, if you have the Weatherspoons app and you know which pub and table your friends are at, you can send them some drinks. And let's just say. Uh, it didn't go well. How was your birthday zigzag? It was good. It was very good. Did you enjoy the strawberry daiquiris that I sent you? Yeah, thanks, Blue. Did Benji send, like, ten milks? Ten kid milks? <laughs> <laughs> I put it in the chat and Benji was like, oh, done. And I was like, okay. Literally two seconds after he said that, a guy walked over to the bar and was like, so do you want ten kids milks or not? Because we're not going to do them for you. Brilliant. No, I would have demanded that they made them. He did pay for them, He yeah. did pay for yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not going to sit though. there with the fucking ten kids milks, am I? A cow fucking died, so you you could have that, you ungrateful bastard. Do you know where milk comes from? What is it? <laughs> yeah, your mum's tits, usually. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up at a karaoke bar for four hours on Saturday. I don't think any of us actually asked exactly. Yeah, well, I, well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> was it good? Did you enjoy your karaoke? Yeah, it was, it was good. What did you sing? Uh... <laughs> I can't remember. You can't remember. No one goes to a karaoke bar does a song. Why tell a story? My throat hurt so much afterwards and it wasn't because of the singing. That was before you even turned up at the karaoke <laughs> bar. <laughs> We're all thinking the same joke then. If you hadn't made it, I would have. And if he didn't make it and yeah. Blue hadn't made it, well, then I would have. So basically, for like a good five seconds, all of our minds were synchronised on cock. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the last one? Daddy's yeah, home! Last one! Last one! Daddy's last home! one! Yes! 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 Pizza time! <laughs> Thank you, Zigzag, for subscribing with Prime. What the drink? Very epic. It's not <laughs> <a> good, <laughs> <subscribe>. <laughs> 
Hey, did you know they're making a new Shrek film? Apparently, they're doing a Donkey Solo film as well. Yeah, man, that'd be sick, mate. Watch him have a sex scene with his like dragon. That'd be dope. Bro, I'd love to see that. How does he do it? That's that's my thought process. Like, how does he? He just climbs on the inside there and then just nuts. What, all the way inside? Yeah, he climbs all the way inside, finds the egg, and nuts on the egg. So there's a wank on the egg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what he does. That's the only explanation of how it'd work. Yeah, because they do have kids, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they have kids. But if that's the logic, so he goes in and comes on the egg. Doesn't that mean he's technically coming on his own? No, what? Wait a minute, do we get cummed on? We are the cum. We are the cum. <laughs> we are the children. <laughs> the internet's gone too far, man. I've just seen a video of Shrek shagging Lightning McQueen. Fuck's sake. First time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I fell up the hill! We no. fucking deserve it. All right, leave my fellow chubby boy alone. Chubsters leave unite. Alone. You're not far off me anyway, Zigzag, you fat I'm not fat, what do you mean? You're not slim. I'm not slim, I'm average, thank you very much. I'm slightly above average. I'm fucking hefty. <laughs> you sounded it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking hefty, boys. <laughs> no, no, who sat next to Isaac in the cinema? What happened to him at the cinema? He went to a cinema, sat next to a fat bloke who was like heavy breathing the whole time and like, apparently he started eating crisps and rubbing his belly <laughs> Now, I'm sure some of us have had problems in the bedroom, but I wouldn't tell any of those stories to the boys because um, this is what will happen. I once slept with this girl, right? And it was getting to a point where it was going for so long and I was getting bored and I had to kind of tell her, like, I, I, I want to go home. <laughs> right. And did your uncle let you go home? <laughs> yes. <laughs> technically, you didn't finish that shag, so you are technically mm -hmm. still shagging. You're still in the um, halftime right now. This is the team talk. Yeah, you need to go find her. Again. Yeah, nah, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not something I was proud of. Did she consent? <laughs> no, she did. No, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> are we talking like a ten pint kind of job? No, basically, at the time I was right. working at Morrison's. What is that like? The key point? Because it was someone that I work with. It was someone that I work with, and it was like it was just. Desperation. It, it was, was a low point in my life. Yeah. I, 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 I thought, you know what? We need to do some team building. Come on. Or don't, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good little party story. That's an icebreaker. Once yeah. I fucked and didn't cue. <laughs> So fancy getting a drink then. <laughs> so what do you do for work? <laughs> Have you had sex for income? You could be entitled to compensation. <laughs> if Jessel robbed you of an orgasm, you could be entitled to compensation. <laughs> oh my god, he's killed me. At least he's had the courtesy to finish you off this time. <laughs> There's people on the edge of town. Just like Jessel was on the edge the entire time. <laughs> Someone in chat said compensation. <laughs> <laughs> if karma does eventually get me and I get diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, please just rip the shit out of me. Because it's what I'd want. Genuinely, right, if I come back and go, yeah, it's terminal, boys. Just fucking go for it. Because you're not going to get much chance to do it. I'll be the one to break the news to you about Make-A-Wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, bud. Spider-Man's yeah, not don't. coming. Spider-Man does come, but it's just eyes looking at the Spider-Man costume. <laughs> Do you know who doesn't come? Jassel. <laughs> <laughs> now, this next clip wasn't actually recorded in Fortnite. However, in a video about stories, it had to go in. I had a sleep paralysis dream where a fat man peed on me. What? The thing is, right, I remember you telling us about that, and bro, if that was me, I'd take that to my grave. I wouldn't just, like, <laughs> fucking confess it to my friends. It's definitely one of them stories where you're like, oh, this will be funny to tell the lads, and then you tell it, they're like, what the fuck? Bro, Guys, I get pissed on by fat boys. <laughs> <laughs> the dream was right i was laid in bed i could feel like something heavy like sat on me and i fell up and there was like this naked fat man and then he started peeing on me at least you didn't <laughs> shit yourself in a dream and woke up and you'd sprayed diarrhea all over the tent <laughs> what? Yeah. i'd have taken that to my grave as well to be quite yeah honest. now like... ksi's reacted to that clip and i didn't even make him laugh out of it wait i haven't actually heard this story what's this so i had a dream where i pooed my pants and then i woke up and i'd somehow managed to like pull down my shorts and i'd sprayed diarrhea all up the tent wall. Oh my god. So Isaac was in a, a tent with his parents and decided, you know what? I'm about to bust ass. <laughs> I was in this big pod, there was a halfway wall in between, and somehow in my dream, I'd rolled onto my brother's side, sprayed shit all up his wall, and then I went back to sleep in my side. And then I was just lying there with shit everywhere going, Mom. 
The stories up until now have been pretty mad, but you haven't seen nothing yet. What the fuck was that like push-up competition? Me and Dan were very, very drunk. I was getting changed for bed and then he was as well so we were both in our boxes and then I said Dan should we do push ups and then we, we we did push ups you don't even know the worst part I uh. went into the bathroom to brush my teeth and they both come and stood behind me and Isaac's cock brushed against my fucking arse <laughs> it went like in between his cheeks <laughs> I actually fully it was, felt it like rubble. it was so awful as I, soon like, as it happened even I was like okay that's a bit far now actually I, I was just like, fully I was felt like, it right get out the bathroom <laughs> I was in spoons with Nathan when you sent the video to the chat and we're like, are they going to have like a sumo wrestling match? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, that would have been so much better. Yeah. I just went, Dan, should we do push-ups? And then I couldn't do them because I was laughing that hard because it was just stupid. It was quite possibly the gayest moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you put that in the fucking vlog. Although yes. I don't consider it canon because I wasn't in it. Well, does, does your narcissism ever get like boring to you? <laughs> Does my sarcasm often go over your head, you fucking moron? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I will admit, when my cock brushed against Blow's cheeks, it was quite funny. It was just like bent in a weird way, so it was like bulging, and it fucking touched me. Okay, you know his cock in way too much detail here, Blue. Like... Wait, it touched me, bro. I got not <laughs> close and personal with it, so yeah, I got to know it pretty fucking well. <laughs> Look, all I want to do in a marriage is go down the boozer for nine hours, come back and beat the fuck out of my wife. Is that a problem? <laughs>